Hey guys. So today I'm going to be playing around with um, this handsome mold from the Resin Queen. Um, I stained this one up, so I don't want to use it. Um, even if you stain your molds up, you can you can still use it. It's not going to affect the outcome of your next pour, but you're not going to be able to see what I'm brushing in. So I'm going to use this one. This one is missing um, the little center. It's an incense burner. So I have to just like drill the little hole out. This was an in imperfect mold that I bought. Um, but to clean up your molds, you just use a little bit of tape. As I've stated in previous videos, I'm really bad at keeping up with cleaning my molds. You can also use warm soapy water and then just dry it out with a paper towel very gently. but I'm just getting glitter and who knows what micas out of here. I'm messy, super messy. <clears throat> okay, so I'm gonna use these little eye wand makeup tools. Um, Tim sent this to me, one of my viewers and friends from Amazon, and it's just a cute little makeup brush. Oh, I can't get the lid off. And it's gentle and delicate for brushing and precise. And I'm going to be using my new um, kit, my new mica set. It is called Dragon's Tail, and it's a chameleon set. And um, it has dragon scales. This is a greenish um, knight's armor, a beautiful gold, dragon's breath, and ice crystals. And these are chameleons, guys. Some of these shift to purple. The gold shifts to a light golden yellow, so we'll see that when we're shifting. And they come um, sold separately in these little containers that have this cool little scooper. Or they come in a little kit, a set of two grams of each color so you can try them out like that. And they're in my store, islandmicasandmore.com. So we're going to have fun. And just, I mean, I don't know if this is fun for you to watch me brush, but I think it's pretty fun. It's kind of time consuming. So I want to start, I already see this mold's so dirty. But I'm going to start around the edges and go into the flower and paint gold. So I'm just going to take this out and dip my brush in. And I'm going to start on the flower. You know what I'm going to do? So it's easier for me to get to. I'm going to pour a little bit in there. And you only need a little bit. This stuff is crazy. goes a long way. Look at that. So I want the flower to be gold. I kind of went into the eye already, but I'm thinking I want the eye, the inside of the eye to be a different color. Let me make sure I'm in the frame. I'm terrible at that. Like the phone's hanging on a um a little holder thing. <laughs> a little holder thing. But I can see above into the camera. But I forget to look to see if you guys can see what's going on. This gold is absolutely stunning. And these are similar to interference mica, so they're gonna look best with a dark color behind them. So after I'm done brushing, I'm going to um, I'm going to fill this in with a dark color. <laughs> I 
So I got the flower gold and I'm gonna use the red. No, I'm gonna use the blue for the eye. And then the best part is when you're done, you can just pour it right back in. So I'm putting these far away so I don't knock them over. I should put the lids on, but being lazy as always. So I brush the inside of the eye blue. And I kind of like, I'm blowing into it a bit. I'm wondering if I should have did green though. I'm kind of blowing it a little bit so I can see what I'm doing. All right. So I'm going to pour a little bit of red out. I sealed that one up. This stuff has larger particles, so it flies up in the air a bit. So if you are sensitive, you have allergies, you're gonna wanna have a mask on when you're playing with these. So I'm debating if I wanna go around all of the edges with the gold. Or not. Hmm. I can't sit here and debate forever, guys. I'm gonna get the green. Let me get it up here so you can see it. Dragon scales is the green. I'm going up into this eye here. Second little eye. I'm trying not to take all day to do this, but I have friends, um, Susie, she does this for like three hours. Very time consuming. But her molds come out freaking gorgeous. I mean, she's really good at it. I guess she's taking her time and attention to detail. So, I wish I would have did blue here. I'm gonna go around here with the red. So quiet, guys. I'm finally in my new art studio. I don't know if I said that in another video and I actually have a door so I get some peace and the puppies are sleeping I got two new puppies a few weeks ago and I spoiled them rotten and they're insanely crazy they drive me batty they don't want to be by their self ever which is bad because I'm never going to be able to go anywhere and they're up at five in the morning every morning and they want to play and go outside and all that good stuff. And one is real whiny, Drac, he's the black and tan chihuahua. He's whiny, but he growls a lot. And he sleeps in the bed with us, with my other two chihuahuas. And then Misha is the little one. I know I'm rambling, guys, but I'm literally trying to waste time. So anyways, Misha is the tiny one. She was like the runt of the litter, and she's tan. 
and she's like a gangster like she doesn't whine she doesn't cry she sleeps in her little um i have like one of those little tents for dogs it, it's like a circle it's like a little playpen and she sleeps in there no problems doesn't want to be in the bed doesn't whine for anything and then drac is the big black one and he's huge he's like a tank and he's just a little sissy and whines about everything it's so funny how their personalities are completely different the little rent is the bad bad butt i can't say ass because youtube will block my video so she's the little not scaredy cat and i'm rambling i don't know what i'm saying okay so I put red in the inside of the hand part. And I kind of messed up because I wanted gold right here. But it's just whatever. You're using your imagination. And I decided I am going to go gold on the outline all the way around that leads into the flower. It's all about how it looks after we pour the resin in. So, so I don't forget next time, I'm gonna go ahead and all the little parts here, I'm gonna do gold. It, it, I don't know if you can see, it goes all the way around. And it leads back, that one design leads back into the flower around the eye. And I'm using the same brush, um, not having any kind of problems with the colors mixing. This can be very, um, a fun little hobby to do. Time consuming, relaxing. And it's limited to your imagination. You can use some regular micas in here, some blacks, some red, whatever colors you want. I'm sitting in a stool with a back because this can definitely hurt your back. Or I got a bunch of craziness going on. I wonder how many of you are going to sit here and watch me brush this thing or you're going to fast forward to the end to see what it looks like. Putting it down for me helps me go a little faster because I don't have to hold the mold. So I got those edges all the way around. So um, when I dropped this kit, I actually did a collaboration um, with Erica Radcliffe, Rad Resin. Um, she 
did the artwork for my um dragon tails kit and her dragons came out amazing i'm gonna drop a pic For you to see. So I'm going to leave the link to her Instagram and her Facebook page. She's really awesome. I love her. She's so cute and she's an amazing artist and she really um, killed the artwork for me. I like to collaborate with other artists. Sometimes I like to see um, my Micahs in their vision you know, in their artwork, how they would do it differently than me. So now all I have left is blue and I'm gonna fill blue into the top part. I like uh, doing mica sets with themes. I have the Mermaid Lagoon. Um, I have the one that's chameleon. So I have dragon tails now, but I just think it's fun to have a theme. Um, it helps them show it, show it off better, show the colors off better with that theme. And it's just different. I know I'm talking a lot, but it's either that or playing music. So you can't sit here in silence. So I'm gonna put green right there just because I feel like I didn't use enough green. And I'm probably doing this a little bit messy because I'm trying to hurry up so I'm not here for hours doing this for the video. But um, probably if you took your time, it would be a little less messier. So I have the red around the edges, um, which is dragon's breath, and then dragon skills here, and then ice crystals, and then I have the gold knight's armor around the edges. And I'm just going to touch up a little bit. where I feel like it's missing. And then now I'm gonna go mix up two ounces of resin and I will be right back. All right guys, I'm back. So I mixed up um, two ounces of resin. Um, this is a silicone cup so I'm not wasting so much plastic um, when I'm done with this I just leave the stick in there and when it dries tomorrow I could just pull it out and reuse it um, I want to keep the background dark like I said because they pick up the chameleon um, colors better and they shift so I'm using sea slug this is a black and I'm just gonna pour some in there Break the sides, make sure it's mixed well.
if you don't mix mica as well, the powder will get frozen in the resin. You'll have little splotches in there. So let's just see my handiwork before I pour it. We'll see how it turns out. So I'm gonna pour my black in. Um, I did the Mermaid Lagoon kit and some mermaid tails. I brushed them in. You can see that in a different video. <clears throat> Just look up Mermaid Lagoon. I don't know what number video it, it, it is at the moment. There's a tiny bit left in there. I probably can get it into one little mold for a magnet. Um, I include magnets in my orders usually. So that's it guys. I brushed it in. I put some black resin in there and I will be back tomorrow so we can demold this and see how it looks. Thank you guys for watching. Hope I didn't bore you too much. So guys, I forgot to show you this. Um, this was that silicone cup I was using. And that's how you clean it. The resin comes right out. Super easy and saves you a lot of plastic cups. All right, guys, see you later. Hey guys. All right, so this is done. Um, sorry, I had the alcohol inks like explode on me. So it came out really cool. The red, um, the dragon's breath really shifts to like a purplish color. trying to get it in a good light. I have a ring light on. Let me turn it off. Oops. It's so hard to capture color on camera. This is what the back looks like. That is really neat. Super shifty. And it was fun to brush in and like I said, you can get crazy with the colors. Maybe not have went with the gold on the, the outline. The gold kind of shifts to like I would say like bright gold to a bright yellow gold. That's my chihuahua. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching. This was just a fun little brush in and me blabbing the whole time. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.